I like, click, subscribe, do all that. You already know what time it is. It's Netflix time. This movie's called Apostle. In 1905, a drifter on a dangerous mission to rescue his kidnapped sister tangles with a sinister religious cult on an isolated island. So this movie came out back in 2018. It's two hours and 10 minutes long. It's what they call a British horror film. Spoiler alert, let's get it. So it starts off with this guy named Thomas. He gets a letter that his sister stranded on this random island. But she's not there willingly. They took her there against their own free will. So now he has to get on the boat and pretend he's some type of worshiper just to get to this island. He speaks to this random lady. And all of a sudden, a goat out of nowhere gets dropped off in his arms. This other guy picks it up and tosses him all the way out the thing. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? This motherfucker tells him it was as intended. He's like, fuck all that. These motherfuckers out here killing goats. When daylight breaks, they finally get to the island. And then they discover the land. The sacred symbol of... I don't know what the symbol is, honestly. They got this boy named Lucas trying to help him out with any way he can. Staring at his boo, Lisa, all cheesing and shit. So everybody has to be blessed and all that before they get into approaching the island. Then Thomas gets settled in his room. But this guy named Lucas is keeping eyes on niggas. Who is he? He's actually Lisa's father, but we'll get back to him in a minute. Thomas meets this lady named Kim. She's a nice lady. But who is these niggas looking sinister? So now we have a church, and this is Kim's father. He's supposed to be a preacher, but he's really preaching about false gods and prophets. Then one of the niggas whispers something in Leon's ear. What's going on here? So at the church, Thomas looks around the building. And what the fuck is going on with this? How does shit just go from green to dark? What kind of spirits that float around these parts? Anyway, we find out he ain't no good Samaritan. He tried to get money off niggas. And this guy's been beating all the fuck up. Then all of a sudden, he gets his throat slit. And all of a sudden, they feel like there's a traitor amongst they miss, so they gotta find him. So why everybody else is at the bar drinking and shit? Jeremy's been sneaking around with his girl, Lisa. Because in this community, they're not supposed to have babies out of wetlock and all that. But she don't give a fuck. She loves him. And she gonna give him all the business. Then at night, Thomas is doing some investigating. Then this chick slits her own arm and pours some blood in the bucket. They try to get this other little girl to do it. She's like, fuck out of here with that shit. Then he sneaks around to Kim's father's house. And he's got a trap door on his floor. Now, where the hell is he going? Thomas ends up bumping into Lisa. He's like, shh, calm down. It's all right. We good. Then, of course, he sees Jeremy, and Jeremy goes the opposite direction. The sacred safe with him. Then, all of a sudden, he starts walking out his hallway back to a spot. There's, like, cups of blood in front of each door. Like, who the fuck is that in the background? Random ass lady. Of course, when he turns around, she's gone. So, for some reason, he poured one glass that had a little bit more than the other and one of the other glasses. But he was trying to open one of the doors. He cut his finger in the key. I don't know what the fuck happened here, but the blood was actually moving down to the cracks. And who the hell is that under the floor drinking it? Daddy gets in the room, he starts drawing a map of the houses. Oh, in that tunnel, Kim's father Zulu was the and leads to this ominous house. He pops up and somebody pops up at the door. He goes in and closes the door behind him. Next day, Jeremy gets Thomas up because they got to do chores. So basically, they out there building up stuff for more boats. He gets him out in the middle of nowhere and asks Jeremy about his sister. When he shows her the picture on his necklace, he gets spooked the fuck out. Then Jeremy finally tells him what happened. He said one day he went in his tent. Basically, at the time, the crops were fading. Even the animals were starving. He has a commotion going on in his box. This box ended up having Thomas' sister in it. I'm like, oh shit. But Leon caught up to him and made him close the door. As of right now, they don't know where she is, but they do know she's still on the island. So he's trying to come up with some type of plan to get his sister back. Meanwhile, while Lucas and Zulu are trying to make sure they give birth to a sheep, which it did, but it's all fucked up. He just tossed it away like yesterday's garbage. So rude. Then Lucy talks to Kim and tells her that uh, she thinks she might be pregnant. Do what you do as long as you love the guy and keep that shit to yourself. You know how this town gets down. So the people rounded up seven different guys who they thought might be the imposter. They made each one finish off a prayer that they know. You know Thomas don't know it, so we're like, oh man, he's fucked. But fortunately for him, the guy right next to him lashes out with a knife. Thomas has to act like he wants to protect him. So obviously it looks like he's in the good graces of Zulu. But they end up stabbing this motherfucker to death. So now they get Thomas a medical attention and Zulu's indebted to him. Right on, brother. Thomas stayed over at Kim's spot getting tended to and they had a nice little conversation. But then once he gets back to his spot, they're having a ceremony outside. And oh shit, there she is, Thomas's sister. Now at this point, they're trying to use her as bait to get the imposter out. But nobody's willing to come forward. So I thought this nigga Lucas was about to kill her. But no, all he did was slice off a piece of her hair. Now there's one instance where Lisa's in the bathroom and she's got a mirror. Don't ask me how, but she's using it to check herself to see if she's pregnant. She finds out she is, but her damn father's peeping in on her. Ew, Lucas, what the fuck? They got a sister chained up in the square, the kids poking at her and shit. But here comes Kim to give her some food, she's being a decent human being. She tells her to eat slow, because this is all we got right now. Meanwhile, Thomas and Jeremy try to find some way to get his sister back. Random scene, Thomas sees somebody's in the hallway, and he plays cowboys and Indians with his random kid. Hilarious. Where do you get those tassels from in that mask? That's crazy. Anyway, off to the square for a hoot nanny and a showdown. But then he dips off with Jeremy, he's got the tools, and they about to dig under Zulu's house. Meanwhile, while everybody's partying, Zulu's checking through all the bedrooms. But he went through Thomas' room and he ends up finding a map in there. Now, why the fuck Thomas? Thomas will leave the map, I have no idea. Well, anyway, Thomas is about to go under the house, and it's a dark, crazy-ass underground cave. So as Jeremy's trying to put the bl bricks back in place, he gets caught by Leon. He's like, dude, where the fuck is Thomas at? So they all get together, they tell Leon to full follow, and Zulu's gonna go around and cut him off at the other side. Lucas shows Leon the way, I don't know what the fuck Lucas is doing after this. He heard the horse going up the other way, so basically he knows he's surrounded. He can't go up there, and he can't go back. So basically he's fucked until he finds this underground water passage, which is small as hell to get through, but it's his only shot. All of a sudden, the crazy lady pops up again, it's like, what the fuck is she doing down there? And she starts chasing him like oh shit but he made his way up out of there but i'm still questioning was she really even there or not 
So he gets a water, but he gotta find a way out. Then he holds up a lighter. So I'm seeing this crazy ass writing on the wall. Looks like the lady we've been seeing throughout the movie. Back on the inside of that house that Zulu went into. What the fuck is going on here? So apparently she's a lady that's been trapped within the trees or something. She's supposed to be connected to nature, helping the plants grow, but they feed her human blood to keep her nourished. I couldn't even begin to explain this shit to you. But who the fuck is this bloody man with twigs wrapped around his head? He's got bags of people they've been dragging up there, and one of those people just happens to be Thomas' sister that he's dragging. It's like, what the fuck do they plan on doing with that? Somehow Kim finds Thomas in his cave. The Thomas talks about how he don't believe in false prophets, then he starts telling his backstory. See, it was people that led him to believe in false prophets, and they was out here burning crosses and stakes, and this Shanghai leader was out here fricasseeing niggas. They was burning people's backs with crosses. Yeah, man, that's some wild shit. Afterwards, they go through these random stalks, and in certain parts of the ground where the water is like acid. Look at that. Shit bubbles up. No joke. What is this black magic? Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. This scene had me all the way fucked up. Okay, Jeremy wants to take his girl Lisa and get the fuck out of there. But he wants to give her a present first, so he says he's gonna be right back. But Lee's all of a sudden, Lucas comes busting in. And there's a big scuffle. He's talking about, you can't be having children out of wedlock. He's not gonna come out right. All this blasphemy talking, all this bullshit. Back at the docks, Leon's had enough of this shit. And he's trying to convince Zulu what we're doing is wrong at this point. Lucas finds out who the baby daddy is. Obviously, it's Jeremy. And he goes ape shit. Then he does the unthinkable. When Jeremy gets back to the house, he sees Lisa dead as shit, stomach cut wide open. I'm not gonna Show up, but this nigga pulled the fetus out and threw it in the fucking fire, yo. Jeremy, you gotta kill this son of a bitch. Jeremy had this nigga sliced his ass till his goofy ass went outside. And then Lucas tried to blame his daughter's death on Jeremy. I'm like, oh, you fucking rat bastard. Everything about the scene pissed me off and it's about to get worse. This nigga all of a sudden now claiming he's the new leader. He says, fuck Zulu and fuck Leon. While they still try to figure out shit, Jeremy somehow ran to their location, but he got caught by them niggas. And then they got this thing set up. I want y'all to think for a second. Picture what kind of torture device this is. All right, I'm gonna explain it to y'all. Basically his arms and legs are strapped down, his head is enclosed in with a clamp, so basically he can't move no parts of his body. And then there's a fucking drill where they're gonna drill straight through his head. Man, this shit is brutal. Then he whispers in his ear he never liked him anyway. I root for the bad guy sometimes, but I hate this fucker, he has to die, yo. And then they did it, Jeremy's done deal dead. Then he has a clamp with a rose petal, and tells everybody it's a symbol of impurity. And he puts it in his head, it's a big ass hole right there, it's like the fuck, man? I don't think I've ever seen a torture device like this before, I knew about the clamp shit, I didn't know about that big ass fucking drill. It might be old school, too, but to my eyes, it's a new one. Of course, Leon comes back. He's like, what the fuck you do to my son, yo? And then Lucas shows his dominance. He's like, Zulu, you ain't the leader no more. I take it over. And he says, you want your respect back? Go kill Thomas. Right before he's about to do it, somebody lets a shotgun off. Leon let a shot off, but it was just a distraction that Thomas needed. He kicking niggas' ass. He was about ready to kill Zulu, but only because of Kim, he didn't. So he escaped to the woods. I think he has something else in mind. While they chased after Thomas, Thomas was chasing after Leon. There's that lady again, but this time she's just standing there. Afterwards, he ends up chasing Leon to that crazy house. But Leon got shot the fuck up. But who? The crazy dude with no face. So he ain't trying to be seen, but he hear niggas coming. So he ducks down the hole to go to the bottom to get inside the house. Meanwhile, both of them get there, they start to beefing. And Lucas ends up shooting Zulu. He ends up sliding and falling down the trap door. Damn, Zulu looking dead as shit. Back in the hut, the dude with no face is feeding the old lady blood again. But she's feeding the remains of Jeremy, and he's got a heart in there. I'm like, God damn. Thomas discovers the bags, and he knows one of us got sister in it. So he almost gets her out of there. But then this nigga catches him and clubs it with a fucking pipe. Down goes Thomas. He wakes up his body strapped to wires. He's got hooks going through his hands. The crazy man is cranking the wheel. And that boy's about to get grinded into meat patties. No, seriously, that's what he's about to send him through. I swear, this is fucking gruesome. Just look at that face. You know he's in some shit. And ends up grinding up one of his hands, and I don't know how he got free. But somehow he ends up strapping no face man to the the table. Put one of the hooks straight in his eyes. If he has eyes, dud deal dead as shit. Then he turns around and looks at the crazy lady. Turns out she really is there. So she touches his head. Then he sees the past of how Lucas and Zulu come to know this lady. In a way, they basically imprison her too. In real time, we get back to the cave and Zulu is still alive somehow. On the other side, Lucas the kidnapped Kim and Sophia. He gives us some bullshit speech. I don't even want to hear from him no more. I just want him dead. After seeing everything, Thomas grants her a wish and he sets her free. Blaze and fire. Zulu comes out the well to see the whole house burnt the fuck up. Niggas just set the whole village on fire. Thomas is like, yo, get all y'all get the fuck out of here and get on the boats. He finds out where his sister is Kim is from this little old lady. It's tough you get your bitch ass cooked. Take this knife to your neck. Then he guts this motherfucker all the way through. Yeah, bitch, you dying today. They get the keys off him, get free. It's time to get the hell up out of there. Statue, you could burn too. But as they're running, Thomas has lost too much blood. He ain't gonna make it. He tells his sister and Kim to get the fuck out of there. They get to the boat with everybody else. The side of the mountain blows the fuck up. It's just fire and blood falling into the water. Yeah, Kim, it just looks crazy as fuck. Zulu gets to Thomas, sees him bleeding out. Yeah. But he sees his blood is dripping into the ground and the plant starts growing. So now he's being absorbed into the ground. I don't even know how to explain it. This shit was fucking wild. Obviously, the biggest part for me was the torture clamps up the drill. I'm like, ugh. A lot of ways they caused pain back in 1905, right? Well, anyway. A pop on Netflix. Check it out. Like, click, subscribe, do all that. Y'all know what time it is. 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 Y'all know what time it is.